Hello everyone, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the interfacing of ultrasonic sensor with the Arduino. Basically, ultrasonic sensor is used for distance measurement and there are number of applications of ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so I am going to discuss how distance can be measured with the ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so which are the topics that I am going to cover in this uh, video lecture. So, first one is a hardware software requirement. Second one is the voltage ultrasonic sensor, how it works. That ultrasonic sensor connection with the Arduino Uno, Arduino code and Proteus simulation, and final one hardware implementation, which I already done and which I have added the video of that. Okay, so let us start with the hardware and software requirement for uh, if you want to uh, measure distance using ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so first one is the Arduino Uno board. Uh, you can also use the Arduino Nano board. Ultrasonic sensor, the sensor which I have used at C. Uh, SR zero volt sensor, which is widely used sensor. Uh, then LED you can also use for indication, but I have not used. Suppose you, so if uh, measurement range is beyond certain limit, then uh, we can use the LED indicate that uh, measure limit, measure distance is beyond the threshold distance. Then jumper wires you can also use. Uh, jumper wires are basically required. USB cable for connection of Arduino for loading the program in the Arduino board from the computer or laptop. As uh, so for circuit simulation, we require Proteus design suit and Arduino ID uh, for uh, writing the Arduino code. Okay. Now, next one, what is ultrasonic sensor? So, basically, first, what is ultrasound? So, ultrasound is a sound wave, high pitch sound wave, which is having frequency uh, than audible limit of the human being. We cannot hear that frequency, okay, that sound wave. Human ears can hear the wave which is having frequency between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Okay, that is the audio frequency range. But ultrasound is having a frequency range beyond 20 kilohertz, that is a 20,000 hertz. And therefore, it is not audible to the human beings. Okay, ultrasonic sensor, HCSR04, okay, is an electronics device that measures the distance of target object by emitting the ultrasonic sound wave and convert the reflected sound into the electric signal. So, it consists of transmitter and receiver. Okay, and Transmitter generates certain wave. Okay, that wave will incident on the object and will be reflected back and it will be received by the receiver. That duration of the sound is measured. Okay, and based on that sound duration, distance can be calculated because we know the speed of the sound in the air. Okay, now how ultrasonic sensor works. Okay, so ultrasonic sensor converts the electric energy into the acoustic wave and vice versa. Okay, so Acoustic wave signal is an ultrasonic wave traveling at frequency above 18 kilohertz. In the case of HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor, it can generate the ultrasonic wave which is beyond the 40 kilohertz frequency. For the distance measurement first, controller will send the trigger signal to the ultrasonic sensor. Okay, that ultrasonic sensor consists of four pin. Okay, so one of the pin is a trigger pin. Okay, that trigger pin will be high for 10 microseconds. So, the duty cycle of this, duty cycle means what, after how much time it remains turn on. So, for 10 microseconds, microcontroller will send the high signal to the trigger pin of HCSR 0 ultrasonic sensor. Now, what we will do, when this trigger signal will be received, okay, when the ultrasonic signal, ultrasonic sensor is triggered, ultrasonic sensor generate the 8 acoustic wave first, okay, ultrasonic wave. Okay, of small duty cycle and initiate the timer counter. It will start the timer counter. Okay, as soon as now that wave will be transmitted. Okay, some certain object is there. That wave will be uh, incident on that object and it will be reflected and it will receive by the receiver of the ultrasonic sensor. So as soon as the reflected or that echo, so the, so one of the pin of the ultrasonic sensor is an echo pin. As soon as the reflected or echo signal is received, timer will be stopped and their duration will be calculated. Now, their duration is number transmitter one way and uh, another one is from one way is uh, from transmitter to object and another is uh, from object to the receiver. So, their distance will be divided by two. When we are converting that uh, that duration, that duration will be divided by two when we are converting that duration into the distance. The output of the ultrasonic sensor will be high pulse. That is a both duration, okay, duration from uh, transmitter to the object and object to the receiver. Okay, it is a high pulse with the same duration as the time difference between transmitted ultrasonic burst and the receive echo signal. Okay, now 
the width of the receive pulse is then used to calculate the distance okay okay between uh, object and the uh, ultrasonic sensor okay so distance is equal to what speed into time and time is nothing but a duration and that duration will be divided by 2 as i mentioned speed is what speed of the uh, wave okay speed of the sound okay now this image shows the uh, how ultrasonic sensor works so first transmitter trigger pin will be uh, uh, given high pulse so it will generate the echoes or uh, ultrasonic burst you can see eight burst will be generated and when this eight burst will be transmitted and reflected back that duration will be noted down so this is a echo duration duty cycle you can say 500 microsecond this is for just for example okay so this is how ultrasonic sensor work first trigger pin will remain high for 10 microsecond so it will generate the burst and the duration will be measured okay now this is a ultrasonic sensor module and pin configuration so basically it consists of four pin vcc where we are applying the 5 volt then trigger pin is there which is a uh, uh, trigger for certain microsecond time okay we generate the acoustic burst okay echo pin echo pin will calculate the duration between uh, uh, the duration between transmitter and object plus object to the receiver and that's why it is divided by 2 when we are calculating when we are converting the duration into the distance and the last pin is a ground pin okay uh, the trigger and echo pins are used to communicate with the microcontroller now this is the ultrasonic sensor connection with the arduino okay so vcc the red wire is connect uh, vcc is connected with 5 volt by red wire okay ground pin is connected with the ground pin of the arduino by black wire okay green color pin is a triggered pin which is a microcontroller which is connected with the 12 number pin of the arduino and echo pin okay which is for measuring the distance that is connected with the 13 number pin of the arduino okay now this is a protease simulation you can see so this is a ultrasonic sensor again you require the library of the ultrasonic sensor if you do not have you have to find it and you have to paste in the library folder of the lab center okay now it consists of four pin plus 5 volt in uh, plus 5 volt where vcc is connected then trigger pin 12 is connected uh, eco pin 13 is connected this is, this is a terminal we are giving the name of the terminal now here at 12 number pin i have given the same name that is pin 12 so that pin 12 and 12 number pin both are connected trigger pin and 12 number pins are connected we do not need to extend the wire okay basically if large number of wire is there it will take it will take more time for circuit simulation and last pin is a ground pin okay now in this to display i have used two things first one is lcd and second is a virtual terminal box which is available in protege design suit Okay, so virtual terminal box is connected to the pin number one. Okay, so pin number one is a transmitter pin. You can see here TXD. So TXD, what is the terminal name assigned pin one? So this is connected with the RXD of virtual terminal box and it is assigned pin one. So both are internally connected. Okay, and now this is a LCD connection. So for LCD, we require, we, there are eight data lines. Okay, you can also find how LCD, uh, LCD can be interfaced. Uh, with the Arduino board in one of the, my video, which is already there of LED, LED and LCD interfacing with the Arduino. Okay, so four pins are there. Uh, four pin you have to use for uh, data transmission. Okay, D4, D5, D6, D7, which is connected to the pin 5, 4, 3, 2 of Arduino. Okay, and RS and enable pin is there. Okay, which is for initialization, initialization of LCD and that is connected with the pin 6, 7 and 6. Okay, so this is the connection of LCD. Now, here one test pin is also provided you can see okay at test pin okay now again we cannot virtually we cannot measure the distance so we have to use this test pin so at that test pin i have connected one potentiometer variable resistor and that is connected with the plus 5 volt so if i will vary here two red dots are there if i will click here so value of that resistance will change so based on that voltage drop across this resistance will change and what will happen our distance will be measure you can see the different distance okay major dis major distance which will be displayed on this virtual terminal box as well as on lcd now first let us see the arduino code for this and we will uh, simulate this circuit in the proteus so this is arduino id sketch you can see so starting with the two pins we have to use of sensor module trigger pin that is a name which is assigned to the 12 number pin of the arduino and eco pin which is name assigned for the 13 number pin Hashtag include liquid crystal dot h which is basically used for 
uh, if you want to interface this is a library of lcd which if you want to interface the lcd with the uh, arduino okay liquid crystal space lcd in bracket 76 that is for first is rs second one is en okay this a seven number pin is connected to the rs and six number pin is connected to the en en that is a enable okay and 5 4 3 2 these are the data lines which is connected to the 532 number pin of the Arduino. Okay, now void setup. So serial dot begin. As I told you that I am going to use the virtual serial monitor over here. I want to display the information on serial monitor. Okay, so we have to use that serial dot begin. Okay, now this is a first function of LCD. LCD dot begin. Before we uh, use any function, this is a first function. So what it indicates 16 cross 2 means 16 column 2 rows LCD we have selected. Pin mode, trick pin, that is a 12 number pin, will be working as a output pin and echo pin 13, okay, that will be working as a input pin. The next is the LCD dot set, LCD dot set cursor in bracket 10. Now, uh, number, this are, there are 16 columns which are numbered from 0 to 15 and row are numbered from 0 to 1. So, 1, the text will be displayed from Two number column. If it is once, it will be displayed from two number column. And zero means what? First row. Okay. And see dot print the distance equal. This will be this text will be displayed on the LCD. Okay. If it is in double code, character will be displayed. If any uh, no quotation is used, so then number will be displayed. Okay. Now void loop function is there where main program will be running long duration distance. So these are the two variable. Okay. Which are of high byte size. Okay. Because we are, we want to measure a uh, duration, so that is a long variable is used for duration and distance. Then digital write trick pin low. Initial trick pin is low, okay. And trick pin is connected with the 12 number pin. Then digital microsecond two, two microsecond delay is there. Then digital write trick pin high, okay. And then now this trick pin, that is 12 number pin, becomes high for 10 microsecond. You can see, so it will. Uh, if it is high for 10 microsecond, it will generate the acoustic burst as I already told you. And then after 10 microsecond, that trick pin will again become low. Okay, so now ultrasonic sensor has been triggered. Okay, now what it will do? We have to measure the duration. So we have to use the echo pin. Okay, so duration which we have already defined as a long variable. Duration is equal to pulse in. This function will measure the duration of of receive signal, okay, that is a duty cycle of the receive signal in terms of microsecond. So in bracket echo pin, echo pin is what? 13 number pin. So it will measure the duration, how much time that 13 number pin become high, okay, that duration will be measured. Now that duration should be converted into the distance, okay. So duration will be double as I told you, from transmitter to the object and from objective to receiver. So it is divided by 2, divided by 29.1. So how it comes? So sound can travel a distance of 0.3435 centimeter in one second. Okay. So if distance is what? Duration into the speed. Okay. But there, how much speed is there? So it is a 0 0.3, 0 0.0345. So the 0.0345 is equal to 1 divided by 29.1. So it is divided by this. Okay. 29.1. Now LC dot set cursor 11 comma 0. Now if you will calculate this, okay, it is starting from one number. Then this character, okay, distance character. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, in one space. So now after 11 number column, what will be displayed? That value will be displayed, number, LCD dot print, okay, that will be displayed, okay. And then after, after this number, what will be displayed? LCD dot print. Sem, uh, cm that is a centimeter okay so you have to count the number of columns because we if you not count if you not set the cursor okay the text will be overlapping on the lcd so you have to count that and then based on that how much character you want to display based on that you have to set this cursor okay now the same video i want to display on the serial monitor okay so serial dot print in bracket distance column okay serial dot print in bracket distance without quotation mark. So what only number will be displayed. And then after serial dot print in quotation mark CL. And then after delay 1000 on terminal so serial monitor code. Okay. Uh, after every one second this value will be displayed.
Now what we have to do, we have to compile this code and we have to find the hex file of that. Okay, here you can say compilation done. Okay, so we have to find the hex file of this path of this hex file. We have copied that hex path file and here double click on Arduino ID board and we have to replace the old path with the new one. Okay. And we have to click on the OK button. Now, here you can see, I already explained this circuit, okay, in PPT. Okay, these are uh, ultrasonic sensor interfacing with the Arduino, okay. Now, what I am doing, now where you can find this virtual terminal box. So, here you can find the virtual terminal box. In virtual in uh, instruments, if you will click, you can find virtual terminal okay you have to just click and you have to click over here on the design suit so automatically it will be pasted okay now i'm starting the simulation initially what is displayed on the lc uh, lcd 514 centimeter okay so one taste pin is there you can see and potentiometer is there and if i if i change the value of the potentiometer you can see the value changes on the lcd okay now same thing can be displayed on virtual terminal also. So just right click on the virtual terminal. Okay, here virtual terminal is there. So you can see 626 is displayed. Okay, so I have displayed both on LCD as well as virtual terminal. So you can understand, you can uh, understand how to use virtual terminal. Now if I will change the value, you can see here. If I will change the value, you can see the voltage will change at the test pin and at the same time distance measure will be also changed. So this is a software simulation of ultrasonic sensor interfacing with the Arduino. Okay, using simulation we can see how distance can be measured. Now moving towards the application of ultrasonic sensor where it can be used. So basically it is used to avoid and detect the obstacle in the robots. Okay, uh, see in robots we can use the ultrasonic sensor and if certain range, uh, if certain distance is there between obstacle and robot, so robot can robot can take the decision uh, that if I want to avoid or if I want to detect that object. Okay, pathfinding robot is also used. It is used to measure the distance between two centimeter to four hundred centimeter. It is used to map the objects surrounding the sensor by rotating it. And if you want to measure the depth of certain places like wells, pits, which can be measured because the waves, this ultrasonic wave can penetrate to the water also. So these are the application of ultrasonic sensor. Now let us see the hardware implementation of ultrasonic sensor interfacing with the Arduino which I have done and I have uh, added that video over here. So let us start first which are the components. So this is Arduino Uno board okay uh, which we are uh, using. This is a cable and this is a HCSR04 sensor okay. Then jumper wires are also required okay. So these are the components which are required. Now this is a connection of HCSR04 with the Arduino board, okay. Ground, Eco, Trigger and VCC pins are connected as per the code, okay. And that is connected with the uh, laptop, okay. So that code is uh, loaded already. Now initially there is no distance because sensor is placed nearer, so distance is very small, okay. Now I am placing this sensor in front of this book, okay. You can see, okay. So this is an object, okay. Now. That distance is approximately 13 to 14 centimeter, which is displayed on the serial monitor and COM port 7, which is used. Now, what I am doing, you can see I am moving away from this object. Okay, so distance will be increased at the same time. Now it is 19 centimeter, 20 centimeter, you can see. Okay, 18 centimeter, 15 centimeter. Okay, now moving nearer to that. Okay, object. Okay, you can see now my hand position is now uh, I, ultrasonic sensor is which nearer to that. If I move again from the object, again distance will be increased. Okay, so this is the uh, how we can measure ultrasonic uh, distance using ultrasonic sensor with the help of Arduino. So this is all about for today's lecture. In this video lecture, we have seen how ultrasonic sensor can be interfaced with the Arduino ID, Arduino board, and we also seen the code and protein simulation of that. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.